la France apporte et apportera tout son soutien. France is giving and will give all its support to Ukraine in all domains, political, diplomatic, legal, economic and of course military, to help this country exercise its right to legitimate defence. This support will continue and will increase for as long as it takes for the Russian aggression to fail. It's an absolute necessity in order to defend Ukraine, but beyond that to defend our collective security and the future of the international system founded on laws and not violence. Well, covering that meeting uh, for us is Clovis Casali. He joins me right now from the Foreign Ministry. Clovis, uh, the press conference wrapped up a short while ago. Give us um, a broad sense of what was said there. Well, in the room, it was very much about showing uh, unity uh, between uh, Catherine Colonna and Mitro uh, Kuleba. Interesting to point out, no uh, rele figures released or special announcements made uh, regarding weapons delivery, uh, for instance, from France to Ukraine. But the French Foreign Minister, Catherine Colonna, reaffirming that France will help Ukraine as much as it needs to on our, all levels, military and humanitarian. No country wants uh, peace more than Ukraine. Those were the words of the French uh, foreign minister. Uh, but uh, Kuleba, the uh, Ukrainian foreign minister, also saying that peace can only be achieved if there are two principles respected. First, uh, Ukraine needs to get its territory restored to its borders from 1991. And then that Russia can no longer be in a position, can't be in the future in a position to attack again Ukraine or any other European nation. And then there was an interesting question from a journalist saying, what do you say uh, to people in France, notably former President Nicolas Sarkozy, saying that it's urgent to negotiate right away with uh, Russia for peace and with Vladimir Putin? Well, uh, Kuleba from Ukraine said you have to be very careful. Take a look at what happened to Wagner uh, boss uh, Prigozhin. He negotiated with Putin. He thought he got an agreement and then he got murdered. And Kuleba now is heading to the Elysee Palace to meet President Emmanuel Macron, Clovis. Um, should we expect any concrete announcements after that rendezvous? Well, the press is kept away from that meeting, unscheduled uh, until this morning, it appears. Uh, but it is taking place at the Elysee Palace, just on the other side of the Seine River from where I'm standing here, the Quai d'Orsay, the French Foreign uh, Ministry. Uh, the French President's entourage uh, saying that the French President wanted to meet Kuleba in order to get a military assessment from what's happening on the ground back there in Ukraine, to know exactly what Ukraine needs in terms of uh, arms, in terms of support, humanitarian, if you will, and any other kind of support France uh, can provide. And President Emmanuel Macron expected to uh, stress once again that France is ready to do all it can. It's committed um, for uh, diplomatic efforts in order to uh, reach peace, in order to negotiate, talk to other nations in the coming international summits. This, of course, in order to reach peace. Clovis Casali at the French Foreign Ministry. Thanks very much.